Welcome to yet another Dark Zone Runs Guide. Today we are looking at Dark Zone 4, 5, and 6. I'd recommend watching our introduction video for this series before you ask basic questions. The source that we've used is an image by Midnight Train on Reddit. This image has everything. It has all the Dark Zone chests, the cache chests, the named enemy locations, the division tech locations, it even has the supply drop locations. Um, note that all the cash chests are high-end ones, so don't be afraid to run into a purple one if you go looking for the ones that are on the image. A link to the image will be down in the description, and of course all credit goes to him for this. But I wanted to show you some of the routes I came up with using this image. And I found this image because the last source that we've used in the previous video actually got down. Uh, the website uh, no longer exists. So this is the next best option. All right, let's get into it. So you start at checkpoint Dark Zone West, then head east towards the crashed helicopter where you'll find a division tech. Then turn around and go up the stairs on your left. Upstairs you'll find a Dark Zone chest, and there used to spawn a boss on this location, but I haven't seen it for a long time, so I don't think it spawns anymore. Well, once you're lucky and you've cleared the boss, or once you picked up the chest, head to the other side of the building and head down. Keep hitting south till you reach 34th Street, where on your right should be another division tech. Now follow, uh, follow the 34th Street eastbound until you reach the contaminated zone on your left. This zone holds a cash chest. And just a little bit further, there is a garage place with a lot of cars, and there's a dark zone chest and a named enemy. And a division tech. Not calculating random items, you should be at 7 right now. With a little bit of luck, you could be at 9 and you can go start to extract. Luckily the extraction isn't too far off. No worries, if you're not full, there is a contaminated zone really close by, which contains a named boss, a dark zone chest, and two sealed caches chests. To get there, keep heading east, and then a little bit north. And then it's definitely time to extract. Since you've now cleared most of the efficient things in the area, it's best to head towards a checkpoint and then fast travel to another route and start over. Of course there is some uh, division tech that can be picked up along the way and there are some chests that can be found in the area, but they're not worth picking up in the meantime because it just takes too long for too little effort. Uh, the division tech however is always good because it gives you the score to the leaderboard and it's never bad to have it. So be sure to pick those up when you see them in the area. For Dark Zone 5, I came up with the following route. But before we get into the route, I'd like to mention that Dark Zone 5 is one of the best places to be when an underground event starts, since it actually has two places where threats spawn. So that means you can get 12 contaminated items because they both spawn three bosses, plus the items you get for clearing it. So that's a lot of loot for a little effort. You gotta be. You gotta wait until the contamination's level lower, though. And personally, uh, I personally uh, encountered a glitch with uh, where the contamination levels said they were going down, but they remained too high to go underground. So that I, I have a clip of it, and uh, that's also a reason I can't show one boss on uh, Dark Zone Five, and then I'll show the clip. This might sound weird, but. For the route in Dark Zone 5, we're gonna start in Dark Zone 6, Checkpoint East. From here, go on to the jun first junction and head south, or left, until you find the contaminated zones on your left. This one and the one behind the landmark both hold a cash chest. Now head to the landmark and clear it. You can stay above ground if, uh, uh, if you really want to, because the boss that's coming up is above ground. Or you'll find the boss just outside of the of the underground entrance. Once cleared, go back underground and head south to find and kill the last boss. This is the one I can't show you, sadly. 
because of the glitch. There is a Dark Zone chest there as well. With a little luck, you can start extracting now because the extraction zone is just around the corner. After this, head uh, to the, the west of the zone where you see the contaminated zone, which holds, which holds one dark zone chest, one named enemy, and actually two sealed caches chests, which is good for up to six items on its own. So if you can't extract or if you pick up some items after extracting, that zone pretty much means extraction straight away. And luckily for you, there's another extraction really close by. After that, after, whew, close by that contaminated zone. Note that this is also the place I'd go to start my Dark Zone 6 route. To the checkpoint just north of the contaminated zone. So, after clearing the contaminated zone here, head north into Dark Zone 6. And go underground. After the first junction you cross, there's a staircase down, which leads to a named boss, and there should be at least two Dark Zone chests, uh, presumably three, but I, I usually don't find a third one, and there should be a sealed cache chest. Which means that if you didn't extract after the previous contaminated zone, you can definitely extract now. Luckily, the extraction zone is just east from here. After extract, you could head south to the junction and check if the boss on the junction respawned. There's also a dark zone chest there that we left. If you have a key, you can also pick that up. I'd recommend to head up north and then east, towards the landmark that is in the area. That would get you another five items, because there's a dark zone chest, a cash chest, and a named boss. If you're not filled up after that, then there's two more sealed caches to be found just north of the landmark. After that, extract again, and that's probably the end of the run, because you cleared most of the things in Dark Zone 6, so I'd recommend to head to a checkpoint and get the fuck out, and find another route to play. So, that was all for this video. The sources that I've used are actually the, the map that you're seeing in the video all the time. The link to that image is down below. It's a different source that I've used during the introduction video since that one got taken down. The website, that is. It's been your boy, what's up, on the Mastermind channel. Peace.